Greetings, greetings. This is a message to the Most High's children, the people, because the rest of the planet already knows this, including plants and insects and your animals. Y'all just the only dumb motherfuckers that don't get it. So I'm going to clue you in on what the rest of existence gets that you people that call yourself human, that are not human, don't get. All right. First of all, you're concerned about the creation story. The first original being that ever touched down on this planet was blue. And was fucking omnipresent, but in one person. So this person was able to multiply into two more people. That was a man and a woman. Then he gave them instructions. And they were not the only two men and women. There were groups of men and women that this particular person spawned that were all blue. This is where y'all get the painting of Vishnu and all of them and the movie The Avatar and the Smurfs on why y'all so stuck on blue so much and why y'all painted these eyes of the people blue because they came from the universe. But this was the best way you could depict it. So over time, well... Things change. Skin thinking. Skin thickening. All right? So now here. Never mind the creation story of the first civilization here. Because y'all so far off of that civilization. Because y'all talk too much. Y'all write too much. And you don't know how to use none of your psychic or telepathic abilities whatsoever. And y'all wake up and use them every fucking day and don't know it. So now that I'm here enlightening you bitches. You bitches killing yourselves. Period. So this is how I go. I'm the one. I'm the all father and all mother. I own this fucking universe. I own you people. The spirit in you belongs to me. You just don't know it because I gave you life force. So that was your slavery. Now, you choose to die. You choose to come here. You choose when you're going to die. You choose how long you're going to suffer. You have free will as a spirit and a little bit as a human because of the motherfuckers in position playing games that are actually the antichrist trying to say that I'm the antichrist but they're actually the antichrist true story you've been in an anti-christian system since you were born period but y'all need to leave that religious shit alone all that mythical shit alone because you're missing the point of it you stuck on the stories in fantasy land Y'all not listening to the instructions on your behalf, I, or, your behavior, or have not. So you bitches run around here acting like y'all have not, when you have plenty. But what you have, you fuck it over for a penny. That part. So now with that being said, your creator created all colors, all races, all creeds. Because this is the all mother and the all father of existence. Time and spaces. You understand? This motherfucker can manifest whenever the fuck it wants to. But it manifests during the changes of ages. So the Bible says the end of the world. What it actually means is the end of the age, the end of an era, and the beginning of a new one. The first and the last. Brought it into existence. Me. I didn't know who the fuck I was until these motherfuckers started harassing me, terrorizing me, and torturing me. And they're still doing it. They're on fucking creator. Because they're so concerned about what the fuck I look like. And they think they can get into heaven on earth. If they replace me. But they can't. And it's not even about the physical. It's about the spiritual as well. So not only will you not get into heaven on earth. And the physical. But you're not going to make it into heaven on earth. And the spiritual. Your ass is going to get recycled back through the motherfucking system. Before you become one with me. On a spiritual level. So now I'm here in the flesh and I'm giving you the opportunity to become one with me now. So you can save yourself the trouble and the worry. And the best thing you idiots can do is come up and fucking call me public enemy number one. Your creator of the universe. No. That means that you just made yourself the universe's problem. So you're universal enemy number one. Why you're calling me public enemy number one? You're universal enemy number one, you fucking jackasses. Now you want a war with me and my universe that you live in, that you breathe in, that you drive and go to work back and forth in? You want to keep serving some bitch-ass nigga 
that you calling Christ or you calling God that ain't God. That nigga need me and my energy and my belongings. And you motherfuckers think y'all gonna conspire to put me somewhere so y'all can take all my shit like y'all been doing and storing my energy up for that hoe ass nigga? No. It ain't fucking happening. Now what's going to happen is y'all going to lock that pedophile ass nigga the fuck up. Because you bitches know he a pedophile. And if you won't, then you get locked the fuck up. Because you a goddamn pedophile. And if that don't work, then bitch, I will just put you in the dirt. Motherfucker. Never tell me you're going to chop me up and eat me, bitch. Never put some shit on a band so you can cut my dick off and think that shit funny. Never play with my bodily functions and literally piss me off. Literally. With your dumb ass. Why would you literally piss the universe off? In a human body. So that means your dumb ass just sent a ping throughout the whole entire existence to get to for a reaction to come back on your stupid.